Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Teacher Max, and for this vlog, I'm going to share with you two things. One, what to pack for Japan, and two, what to wear in the JET program as an ALT. <laughs> so let me take this chance to congratulate all of you for making it. You are now certified ALTs under the JET program. Welcome to Japan! <laughs> So I know this vlog might be a bit too late, but I hope it would still be useful for you as you do your last minute preparations. And then later on, I will be showing you a short clip or a short video as I try to model <laughs> the different clothes that I wear for every season. <laughs> every single day. with number one what to pack for japan <laughs> of course one consideration would be the luggage how many luggages are you allowed to bring here in japan for filipinos you are allowed to bring two luggages each weighing 23 kilograms each and of course you still have with you your hand carry which weighs seven kilograms i'm not sure with all with other countries what your luggage requirements are but with whatever language requirements the most important thing is what do we put inside it <laughs> we don't want you to bring your whole closet with you <laughs> okay so i tried to categorize i have my sheet here i tried to categorize the things that you might need okay to bring with you here in japan so i have documentation personal hygiene clothing of course medication if it's very much needed electronic devices some miscellaneous and of course the most important thing especially for me food <laughs> of course you will miss all the food that you have in your own country of course food that is not available here in japan <laughs> so be sure to bring with them bring them with you <laughs> okay so let's start with documentation of course please bring all important documents that might have been required from uh, required by the board of education so first bring with you your passport of course the visa of course your international driver's permit if you're going to drive your driver's license your tax certificates bring some ids with you for proofs of identification so all important documents needed please do not forget that okay and then let's talk about personal hygiene okay so of course you have your own dental care your razor your tweezers your deodorants your shampoo your soap hairbrush hair products but you have to take note that these things that i have just mentioned can easily be purchased here in japan so but if you have your own specific brand okay or skincare products uh, that you need then might as well bring them with you especially if they will not be available here in japan right of course hand towels colognes perfumes sunscreens etc etc okay so if you have enough like extra money then you can just purchase them here but if you don't want to spend so much upon arriving here especially that salary will be raised the first salary will receive by the 20th of or of august okay or at least at the latter part of august so might as well bring these things with you okay now when it comes to clothing of course the most important thing would be what you will wear okay uh, as an alt so with me i brought different sets of uniforms okay that um can be categorized for every season so that one you will see later but basically bring with you a formal bring with you some smart casual clothes okay maybe some blazers and then of course shoes how many shoes or how many pairs of shoes do you need to bring so I for one for example I have four schools one junior high school and three elementary schools so basically I just have um, one in their shoes and then one outdoor shoes okay the indoor shoes okay we can bring it to the other schools with you okay so if what when you travel either by car or by commute ticket so the the indoor shoes you use in the junior high school you can bring them to the other three elementary schools but if you can only if you can and if your luggage can still if or if it, it can still fit your luggage you can bring one in their shoes for all schools that you have <laughs> okay so 
Then of course you just use one outer shoes for all. But in my case, I remember I brought like five pairs of shoes. <laughs> of course, your rubber shoes, your leather shoes for your formals. But don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if you see many Japanese teachers wear sneakers all the time. Whether it's a formal or a casual or a smart casual, etc. etc. Because they use sneakers because they love to run, they love to walk. So that's the reason why it's more comfortable for them. <laughs> of course, you need to bring your what do you call this some t-shirts, shorts, okay, and then what else do you need to bring? Uh, of course, socks, undergarments, of course your belts. That's very much important. If you're a fan of hats, don't forget your hats. Of course, jacket, coats for winter. Some say it's alright not to bring winter clothes because you can easily buy them here in Japan. It's your choice, okay? But I, for one, I bought all my winter clothes here in Japan. <laughs> because there are a lot of secondhand shops, recycle shops here, who give you good deals, okay, for this. Especially that winter clothes might be a bit bulky, okay? And might take a uh, big space in your luggage okay swimwear if you need if you love to swim of course some more casual clothing so please don't forget them and then when it comes to medication if there's a special medication that you need i for one i am currently having my maintenance for my hypertension so i brought medicine with me but make sure that you have it uh, that you have your medicines approved okay and have your certificate coming from i forgot i forgot the term but there's like a certificate that you need to apply about all the medicines that you need to bring here so of course your multivitamins your allergy medication um, pain medication digestive medication and some prescription prescriptive uh, medicines right so please make sure that you bring with you your prescription coming from your doctor and have the doctor here uh, translate it right? so then of course electronic devices of course your cell phone your smartphones your camera your laptop or tablet and of course don't forget the chargers <laughs> and power adapters okay very nice because here in Japan oh my god what's the wattage here Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 100 watts oh my god i'm not sure guys uh i'll have it checked and put it here okay and then of course some daily essentials one thing that you should not forget of course is your purse your wallet and of course your money okay please take good care of it of course i know that many of you would be bringing here a big amount of money so be sure to secure the money with you put it inside your shirt <laughs> Okay, and then of course, for miscellaneous, I think the very important thing is omiyage. Okay, an omiyage is a Japanese souvenir, a Japanese tradition wherein like when one travels, they bring omiyage to their co-workers, okay, as souvenirs. And here, since you're, it's your first time here in Japan, it's not bad to bring an omiyage, though it's not required. Okay. And then if you feel generous enough, you can give all teachers omiyage. Okay? Or if you're on a tight budget, you can just give your kocho, your kyoto sensei, and then your JTEs. Okay? But when what I did was, I was feeling generous a bit. <laughs> so I give one for all teachers. For my JTEs, for my kocho and kyoto senseis, I gave them a pack of dried mangoes. That's a Filipino delicacy. And then for all the teachers, I just uh, brought uh, with me like mini chocolates, okay, and then packed them. So like each teacher got a pack of three ch Filipino chocolates. So it's up to you guys, whatever kind of omiyagi you will bring. I'm very, very sure that they will all appreciate it. And that is one way of introducing your culture or your country to them, right? <laughs> Okay, now, lastly, the most important things I've said earlier, food, okay. Well, I don't know with, with the experience of other, of ALTs from other countries, but for Filipinos like us, we love our food so much that almost one luggage is dedicated for food. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so just like I told you that upon arriving here, salary in my case, my salary, my first salary was released August 20th. So I, we arrived here August 5th. So there was like 15 days. So I did not want to spend too much. So the food that I brought with me, okay, was enough to, for me to survive the, the remaining 15 days before the first salary. Okay, so of course, try to bring with you all the necessary not really necessary but all the food that you will miss right for filipinos we love let's say like instant noodles we have what we call pancit canton okay i brought some of them with me um filipinos love condiments so i actually brought with me vinegar soy sauce um fish sauce okay the fish sauce or patis as we call it in the philippines is very expensive here so it's good if you will bring your own fish sauce <laughs> And then what else did I bring? I, I brought with me some canned goods because we love, Filipinos love canned goods like sardines, corned beef, etc, etc. And then what else? What, what uh, the things we, we have in the Philippines, what we call as champorado, it's a chocolate purge. So I also brought uh, the, cacao pow, the cacao powder with me. So yeah, these things. So, so all these, let's say, delicacies or food that is very, what do you call this? That is from your country of course if you will miss them bring them with you right <laughs> but of course the other the other things of course are readily available here in japan okay so did i miss something what to pack for japan what else <laughs> okay so i hope that by now you are almost ready and i really wish you good luck and please make sure that you do not forget all the important stuff especially the documents right of course your passport don't forget you won't be able to fly <laughs> okay so i wish you good luck guys and now i am going to show you okay the different clothes that i wear for every season as an alt here in japan but wait i know that i'm a guy so i won't be able to show you what the ladies wear but i try to search in youtube and most of the alts that showed what to wear are ladies so i'm not sure if i'm the first one i'm the first guy alt showing this but if i am then i would be uh proud to share with you what i wear in japan so basically some schools are strict some schools are not and are more they give you more freedom in what you wear but basically um, try to to gauge what the and check okay observe what do the teachers in your school wear and try to adapt to it okay so here is a short clip of what I wear here in Japan every summer winter fall and spring <laughs> here you are.
you have it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope that I did not miss anything important. But please feel free to try to check out other ALT YouTubers and of course try to Google different tips that you can get prior to coming here in Japan. So I wish you all good luck and I hope you will enjoy your journey as an ALT as much as I do. Congratulations again and if you have questions please feel free to comment down below and if you have not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe, like and share this channel. So thank you very much and I wish to see you in the next vlog and just like what I always say live life to the max. Bye!